Hey, Kimberly here from the Happiness Journey with our final day of Thinking More Positive. So today is tip number eight, which is to start every day on a positive note. Every single freaking day of your life, start it on a positive note. It will absolutely change your life. When we start our day with positivity and thinking positive, it sets the vibe for the rest of our day. So obviously I'm impartial to gratitude journals and gratitude in general because it has changed my life. However, gratitude journals are not for everybody. I have tried with my eight-year-old son more than once and it's just not his thing. And that's fine. It doesn't have to be your thing either. So if you think getting up in the morning, opening a book and writing down three things you're grateful for is not your thing, that's totally fine. It's not for everybody. So I have some other options as well for starting your day on a positive note. So, and yes, some of them have to do with gratitude. So bear with me on that. But I promise you, I promise you, it'll change your life. It'll change the way you think. It'll change the way you feel. It'll change your day and it will change your freaking life. So I highly suggest doing it. So either running through things you're grateful for in your head before you get out of bed, or sometimes when my feet hit the floor, I will say in my head, not out loud, but in my head, thank you for this day. It's a privilege to live to the next day. Some people go to bed at night and they don't wake up in the morning. And we need to realize that each day is a gift. We are blessed to be waking up again the next day. So thank you for this day when my feet hit the floor. Or as I walk from my bed through my walk through shop, I'm sorry, walk through um, closet to get to my bathroom, every step I take, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, until I get into the shower. Um, other ways to start your day on a positive note, like listen to some pump up music, put some music on, dance, or just make, you know, a happy song that makes you feel good while you're getting ready in the morning, whether that be music while you're in the shower. We actually have a, a waterproof speaker in our shower so that we can Bluetooth from our phones and wireless waterproof speaker and we listen to music while we're in the shower, more so on the weekend so that we're not like, I'm not waking everybody up when I'm in the shower at six o'clock in the morning when everyone else is still sleeping. But um, my husband, Kevin, will often, like more often than not, he's got music on while he's in the shower to start his day. Or even like listening to a podcast or an audio book while you're getting ready in the morning or while you're driving to work for the day. I listen to podcasts 95% of the time I'm driving, as long as I'm driving, when I'm driving alone, which is most of the time anyways, driving to and from work. And my commute is 45 minutes to an hour or over an hour um, each way. So I'm listening to a podcast. I often have earbuds in my ears at work and I'm listening to um, motivational personal development podcasts when I'm at work, you know, no one else can hear it. And I'm just growing my mind while I'm doing that. So those are things that I like to do in the morning. Um, you know, yeah, music and or podcast, audio book, um, giving somebody else a compliment as well. Giving somebody else a compliment makes them feel good, but it also makes you feel good. So, you know, you get to work and you've got a coworker who's done her hair really nice or it has a new shirt on or whatever. Compliment that person. It's going to make them feel good. And it's also going to start your day off feeling good about yourself as well. You, we feel good when we give other people compliments as well as when we receive them. So these are a few ways that I like to start off my day. I mean, obviously for me, I journal every morning, gratitude journal, and uh, that's made a huge change in my life, but also the music, the podcast, um, occasionally dancing in the morning, if we have time, um, all these things as well. So if you have any ideas and things that you love to do in the morning, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. But that is tip number eight. I hope you've enjoyed our eight days. I am going to run a recap tomorrow, a quick recap video covering all of the eight days very briefly. So stay tuned for that and have an amazing day. And I'll see you one last time tomorrow. Well, not one last time, but one last time covering our eight tips. See you tomorrow.